Hi all and welcome to this sketchbook warm-up tutorial and today I'm really excited to share with you a tutorial that has been included in my book Sketchbook Challenge 100 Prompts for Daily Drawing. Now it's really important to explain here that a sketchbook warm-up is a sketching exercise that you can do in any size sketchbook in just a few minutes and it does what it says on the tin it's there to warm you up it's there for you to find your focus get in the zone and just yeah get your mojo ready for sketching perhaps something more detailed or larger or will take you a longer amount of time so to do this you're going to need some form of sketchbook it could be a little sketchbook, a big sketchbook, just something that you're comfortable working in. You're going to need a single pen, and again, it could be a biro, a fountain pen. And I'm here using today a Unipin Fine Liner Pen. It's a very fine one, a 0.1. But you don't have to use this. Please just use whatever pen that you have available to use. So this book is available through my own website, susanyates.co.uk, but also on all good online book retailers. I'm going to flip through to page 35, and this is the first warm-up exercise from the book. And these are quick, they're easy, they're creativity boosters, and they're very, very accessible, whether you are a beginner or whether you are an experienced artist looking to boost your own creativity and just find a really fun little exercise to work on. So this exercise is called Mindful Circles and as I said you just need a sketchbook and a pen. This is a mindful doodling practice so it's one to help you relax and slow down. It's definitely definitely one of my favourites and I have a separate sketchbook that I use just for this. As you can see this is the sketchbook page that has been scanned in and used in the book. So if you just get yourself to a blank page and grab your pen. So I'm just going to pop this under here. And the premise is that you take a deep breath and relax and that you draw a circle somewhere on the page. So I've drawn a teeny tiny one. And then we draw a circle somewhere else on the page. And you keep moving around the page slowly and carefully and with control and observing your senses, just drawing little circles wherever you happen to go. And sometimes you may find that you draw a pattern, but the important thing is, is that you don't plan before you start. There's a couple of rules. The first one is just use a pen. So don't use a pencil, which can be rubbed out. A pen, go for it. Don't plan, so don't have a preconceived idea. Don't spend time thinking about what you're going to do. We're just cracking on with it. Your circles can be any size. I have just happened to select small circles because I've got a small sketchbook. You can, of course, make these bigger if you wish. And complete every single circle. So you want to make sure you start the circle, you draw around, and then you complete it. You may want to, I notice that I draw in a anti-clockwise direction for my own circles. So you might want to perhaps do some that way and then experiment with drawing some in the other direction. How does that feel? And I really want you to slow down and observe what you draw as you are drawing it. So what I'm doing is I'm paying attention to the way my hand feels the way the pen feels in my hand. I'm observing the line as I draw it. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down my breath. And I'm using all of my senses. So I'm listening to the sounds I can hear. I'm using touch, sight. Sometimes you might find that you even use smell if you've got a pen that has a particular smell. But just keep repeating. Drawing your little circles across the page, take five minutes, 10 minutes. Maybe you don't finish a page. Maybe you just set yourself a five minute timer, start drawing your little circles and you're done. Sometimes you might actually find you get a little carried away and it takes you longer than you expect, but that's a good thing. It's hopefully warmed you up. 
So that is Mindful Circles. I just flicked through some of the sketchbook pages that I've done using this technique. Some of these have taken me longer to do as I've just got carried away. And as you can see, some of them have a bit of pattern to them, others are just free form, some look a bit organic. Um, they're all very, very different. And I've just used the same technique of little circles repeated again and again and again to create different shapes. Whatever happens to pop into my brain and pop out onto the page, that is what we're looking to um, achieve. I sometimes call this exercise doodle dots as well because it is very much a doodling one. If you don't even have a sketchbook, you can grab the back of a receipt, something like that, and you can just doodle and draw and you're still sketching. That's why I love this exercise. It's because it's super, super, super accessible very limited tools and materials and it means that you're getting your little boost of creativity and sketching even just when you have limited materials available to you so again this could be maybe one to do when you're at work when you're on the phone wherever you've got a pen and a bit of paper so for some reason I created a, a line here so it's amazing the different little shapes that come out when you're um, in the zone and you're sketching. So I hope you find this interesting, Mindful Circles. It's part of the book Sketchbook Challenge. This book also contains plenty of other sketching prompts, warm-ups, exercises, information on tools, materials, colour. It's a good chunky 160 page book. If you have enjoyed this tutorial and this video, do um, follow me on my YouTube channel, hit subscribe, and then you can have updates all about the weekly videos that come out, sketchbook tours, sketching warm-ups, sketching tutorials. And I also have a sketching membership, which is a monthly subscription, and you get access to tons of different themes, projects, support, um, a global community, loads and loads of fun stuff, and I would love for you to join me there too. But have a go at this yourself. Do it, you know, every day for a week or something. Just have a go at this little warm-up, and I hope it is a lot of fun for you. I'll see you soon.